Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from uh, Electronics Eternity. Uh, this time around we will be looking at LCD display. Uh, this is the part where we are developing a simple user interface using our LCD display and trigger a certain response for, in this case, this is going to be an LED lighting up, right? Okay, so uh, before this video, there's already uh, three videos that I have created, which, uh, you know, basically speaks about the fundamental related to LCD display. So if you haven't uh, checked that out, be sure to watch that video so that when you watch this particular video, you will understand it better. Okay, so all that video will uh, sort of like, <clears throat> will sort of like uh, uh, build your understanding until this point. Okay. So with that being said, let's uh, dive right into this tutorial. Uh, as you can see in the screen over here, uh, I have uh, uh, I have my LCD display, and in in that LCD display, I have two boxes. One is green in color, and another one is red in color. So basically, what it does is, when I press on the green box, it's gonna light up the green LED, and when I press on the red one, it's gonna light up the red LED. All right, it's that simple. So let's look into the code and see how we achieve this. So as, as usual, we have these values, minimum pressure, maximum pressure. Minimum pressure and maximum pressure would be used to uh, detect if there is a touch, okay? Sensitivity is how sensitive your LCD display should be, okay? So as, as usual, this initialization commands, we have it over here and we go next to the white setup white setup is I have serial communication and I have 52 and 53 so uh, I, I think pin uh, 53 is basically green LED and uh, the one below it would be the red LED right it's that simple I'm just setting these two uh, two pins to output and uh, next is I'm initializing the usual LCD display and uh, setting screen rotation filling in the screen with black and then just drawing two boxes one box is green in color another one is red in color All right so that is for setup we're just drawing two boxes. we're just initializing uh, the lcd display setting screen rotation setting pin mode to output and that's it okay so let's go on to white loop uh, in the white loop we, we have these two pins initially set to low because we don't want the LED to you know light up for no reason okay uh, next is TS point P initial so I'm just uh, my my touch point will be named as P initial that's it right so next I'm setting these two pins to output and input so this is just the pin configuration for touch screen so when there is a touch you take all the values uh, of that touch and you put it in P initial that's it okay now I'm changing back these values because uh, I want to configure uh, I want to display something okay so that that is uh, you know we, we often revert back to this when we want to change something with uh, LCD display in terms of the graphical output but this setting is what we need for touch screen all right so uh, p initial z so the moment p initial z is more than the max is more than the minimum pressure and it's below the maximum pressure uh we're gonna check where is the value right so this value basically tells me that uh when the x value is between 360 and 760 and if the y value is less than 520 sorry my bad Oh, sorry it's greater than 520 and it's less than 790 it's basically referring to the margins of the green color box okay so these values I have gotten it from uh, my uh, you, you can check my previous tutorial uh, which will tell you what are the X value for a particular touch point so be sure to check that and you will know how to attain uh, the X and Y value uh, for a particular touch point. Okay, so in, in this, since I have done that in my past tutorial, I'm not repeating that over here. And I've used the same concept to 
derive these values right so these values are the margin or the boundaries of my uh, green color box okay so if this values falls in this margin or boundaries then I'm going to light up my green LED right and then I'm going to allow some delay which is 300 milliseconds and uh, if the values uh, or the sort of the touch point coordinates are different right for example if the axis is 760 and y it's below than 760 or it's more than 380 however the y is different it's more than 160 and less than 430 then it is referring to the boundaries of my red color box right so and then uh, actually this is not needed anymore to be exact right so I can actually take that off because I'm just lighting up two different LEDs okay so that serial print is not needed in in both of these if statements okay because we're just lighting up two different LEDs when two different boxes are being touched okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna upload the code and show you how it works okay we are done so as you can see in the screen we have green box and red box so let me show you I, I have my LED over here uh, I'm afraid you can't see it so it's already over here excuse me for my like really small you know like window for this LCD display but that's the best I could do I guess so this is green so when I touch green my green LED lights up so I, I hope you can see the rays of green LED lighting up when I touch this right so if I go to the red one then my red LED lights up so I have two different LEDs uh, in, in the setup over here okay so I touch red it's gonna light up red I touch green it's gonna light up green so that is a very simple uh, you know user interface that you can develop using your L LCD and of course you can develop something far more complex but I, I just wanted to uh, you know create a simple setup just to show to you I, I just wanted to create a simple setup uh, just to show to you that or, or to give you an idea about about how you can create one for yourself right it doesn't have to be this simple you can you can create something more you can create something like a slider or you can uh, even have like a, a meter with, with gauge values and etc all right so i i hope with this you got an understanding about how to create uh, and simple user interface or even for a more complex one and uh, with that we have come to the end of the tutorial thank you for liking uh, sorry thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe bye